take a brief look at the new logo tool. Previously, you were limited to working with just black and white images, but now if you click on the logo tool, you'll have a host of additional options available to you. So on the front side, you can apply texture and bump information. You can also do the same for the back side. And you can also provide stencil information. You can taper, adjust the thickness, and also the bump thickness. So what I'm going to do here is go to texture. Now the bump. These are PNG maps, so the background is actually removed. So we'll do the same thing here. You could copy and paste if you want, but it's probably just as quick doing it this way. Okay, stencil texture. Essentially what you have now is vertex color, much like you have in voxel painting. Okay, so here we have it. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of rotating, I'm sorry, wrong axis here. Let's see, 90 degrees, okay, and scale 0.5, and now we can hit apply. Okay, so now you can see it's somewhat filled, and all we need to do is just click another tool, and you can see the result. If you should get some of this stretching, what you can do is go into the paint room and rectify that. Want to add a new layer, and choose black from my color picker. Now go to the E panel, choose rectangular selection orthographic view, front view, you can access it here as well. Okay, make sure to uncheck ignore back faces because we do want to go all the way through. So I'm just trying to make some cheap and quick corrections here by applying black all the way through. I also want to turn on my symmetry so that we can apply it to both sides. All right, skipping forward now, we're uh, moving into the retopple room. I've already created a retopple mesh. I've already laid out the UVs, and we're going to bake the result onto this new lower poly version. All right, so go to retopple menu, merge for per pixel painting, and we don't need to bake occlusion at this point. And I'm going to change the UV name and the texture size. Okay. And there's a result. And this concludes our demonstration of the new logo tool in 3D Code. Thank you for watching.